I have a crazy story that's going to blow your mind. Oh boy, let's hear it. In 2015 in Danbury, Connecticut, there was a teenage girl named Rebecca Townsend. And Rebecca's goal in life was to complete her bucket list. Wow. She actually wrote herself a letter of all the things she wanted to do before she died. On that list, there was like, take a trip to Spain, have a kiss in the rain, like in the movies. Uh -huh. The last thing on her list was to save a life before she died. And that was the only thing she hasn't done yet. That's crazy. So one day her and her friend were walking on the street and as she was crossing the street, unfortunately she got hit by a car and died. No. She managed to complete her bucket list. Are you serious? Seconds before getting hit by a car, she managed to push her friend out of the way and in turn saving his life. Oh, that gave me goosebumps. I know, it's crazy. Have you heard of the Frozen Theory? Which one? This is a good one. So I read this article, and remember at the beginning of the film, we see Elsa and Anna's parents going on a boat for a voyage? Right. But what people don't know is that Elsa and Anna's mom's actually pregnant, and at some point at sea, she has a baby boy. What? Remember how we see Elsa and Anna's parents' boat like in a huge sea storm, and it causes their boat to sink? Yeah. So this is where the theory comes in. There's a theory that the baby boy they have at sea is actually Tarzan. Wait, what? And that they use the rescue rowboat to get to a nearby jungle. Wait, I thought they died, though. That's what people think. But when you look at a map, Scandinavia, where Elsa and Anna's from, is right above Africa. So probably after the storm, the closest place to go was the African jungle. What? And what makes this theory even crazier is that the director of the film, Jennifer Lee, confirmed that Tarzan is Elsa and Anna's long lost brother. No. So it's not a theory, it's actually a fact. Wait, that actually makes both movies a lot better though. It really does. Do you know the Pixar Soul Theory? No. So Soul was one of the best movies released in 2020, and it was a huge hit for Pixar. But at the end of the movie, we never know where 22 ends up. So it leaves the question of who does 22 become? Wait, you know who she becomes? Yeah, so in the Art of Soul book, we get to see what all the symbols mean that 22 has. And it says that 22 is a moody, extroverted cynic who is extremely punctual. Punctual meaning they're always early. Yeah, that fits her description. <laughs> right, so there's a theory that at the end of the movie, when 22 and Joe are going back to Earth, 22 becomes Colette from Ratatouille. Wait, they actually act like... Like the same exact person right so in ratatouille we always see colette being super moody and impatient with linguini just how 22 is with joe in soul yeah they both got some fire to them right colette even threatens to kill linguini at one point and almost cuts off his arm remember when linguini falls asleep at the restaurant colette is the first person to show up out of everybody yeah she's very punctual so it only makes sense that 22 is colette i guess it makes sense too how the souls can go to different timelines it could be like in the past and in the future so it doesn't have to be like the same timeline as joe you know that the original Cinderella story wasn't made for kids at all? Wait, what? So we know that Cinderella had two evil stepsisters, right? That were so desperate to fit in the glass slipper to marry the prince, right? Right. But in the original story written in 1812, the evil stepmom was even more desperate for their daughters to marry the prince. So you know what she did? What'd she do? She willingly cut off the toes and the heels of her daughters so they could fit in the slipper. What? Ryan, she literally cut off their toes, cut off their heels so they would fit in a shoe. <laughs> Talk about tough love, huh? Right, but thank goodness the prince didn't buy it. Gee, I wonder what gave it away. Maybe when there was no toes on their feet? Right? So you know how in Disney Cinderella, she always has magical birds that sing and like help her? Yeah. Well, in the original story, those birds were so mad at the evil stepsisters that at Cinderella's wedding, they went to them, pecked out their eyes and ate them. This whole time I thought Cinderella had it bad. Right? Karma really got the stepsisters. Well, you know one thing is that they don't have eyes and they don't have toes. Have you ever heard of the Lilo and Stitch theory? No. So we know that Lilo and Nani's parents passed away from a car accident, right? Right. So you ever wonder why Mr. Bubbles, the social worker, is always checking on Lilo and Nani? Why? Okay, so I read this article, and the theory is that Lilo and Nani's parents were actually CIA agents that worked with Mr. Bubbles. And before they died, they instructed him that if anything happens to them, he has to take care of Lilo and Nani. Oh my gosh. Right? And at the end of the movie, Mr. Bubbles even tells Nani that he was a CIA agent that used to work with aliens. Right, I remember that. Right, which is why the ground councilwoman recognized him. And don't you think it's kind of weird? He went from CIA agent to someone who takes care of kids that have no parents. Especially how he became a social worker right after Lilo and Nani's parents passed away. Exactly. Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense.